All right, what part of America are you from? Okay, who did it better, me or the dude from Civil War 2024? I don't know, I guess we'll have to see. It comes out here in the next couple of weeks. But hey, it's a regular guy. I know what everybody wants to talk about. Everybody wants to talk about. In the blue corner, you've got the Viper PSD2. And then the red corner, you have the Vortex Razor, the Holy Grail. <laughs> This one has the VMR2, so you know what we're talking about whenever we mention it in there, which I like, and I'll tell you why I like it in a minute. This one, and there you can get all of them in different things, EBR9 uh, MRAD. So what do I like about them? What do I not like about them? First off, we'll talk about the PST, and then when we get none, we'll talk about if I can only have one, which one would it be forever for, I don't know, the zombie apocalypse or whatever. All right, so this one, it came with caps right off. I like that. It's 0.2 MRAD adjustment. I know there's there's other MOAs and stuff out there, uh, but it's not as fine of adjustment as the other, and we'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, as far as the speed ring is a little bit uh, tighter on here, more difficult. I mean, you got to put a little bit of torque on it, but you know what? I have the uh, throw lever, so it helps. Looking through this optic, super clear. Go ahead and take a look at this video. All right, I'm gonna work it back and you know, do a low zoom level like back to nothing. You see, it's it's clear. I got a little bit of cell phone blur, but as you see, the image is clear, the dot is clear. The crosshairs basically track your eye right to the fine pointed dot. It's not even as bright as it'll go. I'm gonna zoom in one more time. Like I said, it's a little bit difficult to turn the speed ring, but hey, you just gotta get used to it. Overall, I love the way it Okay, super clear, right? I like that uh, I've had other uh, LPVOs that are not as clear. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can still shoot a, a fuzzy object, uh, especially if you got good magnification, as long as you can make a good pay, PID on it. Uh, other than that, the illumination. Uh, I do like that the illumination on here is daytime bright. Speaking of illumination, you saw that this was a second focal plane. You saw me adjusting it back and forth in there, but you know what? I don't like second focal planes. This is my first one, but you know what? It's only a one to six power. So you know what? It worked out good for what I needed. I mean, uh, basically your reticle uh, ended up staying the same size, which is fine. I mean, one to six, I either crank it all the way over for a distant shot or maybe halfway or nothing for a close up shot or something like that. You know what? You each do your your own. I do like that it has cap turrets. Some of the ones out there that kept me from buying them because they don't have the caps on the turrets. They get exposed turrets. People are like, oh, it's good for quick dialing in or whatnot. Uh, this type of shooting with the AR, I just don't dial very much. It's kind of a hole because I do some of the, you know, uh, tactical games type things or Sawmill Showdown, which is the same thing. Uh, it's over at Sawmill Training Complex. You know what? I'll put their link in, in the description. Uh, so I don't do a lot of dialing. And with all the carrying equipment and stuff you have to do for these type of games, exposed turrets would easily get bumped off. People are like, oh no, well, some of them are depressed and you got to, you know, pull them out to, to adjust. Oh, they would get bumped and your zero be off. That's all there is to it. Uh, now, if you're just shooting off some kind of bench like some of the FUDs out there, then uh, you know what? Uh, it'll probably, you know what? The exposed turrets is fine. But let's get back to this. You saw how clear it was, the reticle. This one, the crosshairs, very simple to operate. They just come into the middle and the dot was so fine and so crisp. I don't know if you could tell through a cell phone video how crisp it was. And like I said, this is the, uh, what, VMR2? VMR2, I'll hold it up there and take a little look at it. Super crisp dot. I mean, I, I was so impressed. Your eyes just were naturally tracked in to where the dot was. There wasn't a lot of, uh, I don't wanna say hocus pocus, you know, big trees, all different directions and stuff like that to just to get you distracted. Had a singular dot, like it was ready for business, laser focused. So I did like that. Also, not super expensive. Okay, a little bit expensive, but not compared to the HD. So if you don't know how much they are, you know what, you better Google it. Because everybody knows the Vortex is pretty expensive. This is kind of their mid-tier. Uh, they have their lower tier, which is Strike Eagle, which I know there's some Strike Eagle haters. Hey, my first LTVO was a Strike Eagle. I have no problem with it, and I can hit good with it. It ain't the equipment, it's the shooter. But you know what? You can always get a little bit of advantage by getting a little bit better equipment. So keep that in mind. Uh, as far as that, like I said, the speed ring is a little bit difficult on here. Everything else, I liked it. It's clear. It's not too expensive for what it is. Uh, brightness, I would say it's pretty much daytime bright, maybe a little bit less than daytime bright. Now, 
let's switch over to the HD. All right, let's get this thing out. All right, the Holy Grail, the Vortex Razor HD. I like it a lot. I don't like that it did not come with caps for it because I mean, when you pay the kind of price this thing is, you definitely need some caps. Uh, the speed ring, a lot easier to work than the PST, but you know what? You just gotta muscle it over a little bit. It's fine. Uh, what else do I like about it? It's got the cap turrets, just like the PST. I already mentioned it's way more expensive, but you know what, we'll talk about that later. Also, daytime bright. This one, you actually, it's like recess. You actually have to pull out the cap to unlock and then rotate to the brightness you like. This one is a little bit of cloud cover today, even though it was pretty bright. I actually had to turn the brightness down. I had it up too high. And you know what? The image clarity, phenomenal. Take a look at this video. All right, sorry about the top cell phone blur again, but look look at this image quality. It's fantastic, maybe slightly better than the PST. But look at the donut, the halo around the dot. To me, it's distracting. The tree is a little bit big and distracting, but I love it, don't get me wrong. But it is, it is clear, but I'm just saying that the donut is distracting for me. I don't know, you can make your own opinion. Let us know what you think. Let's get back to it. All right, so as you see, phenomenal image clarity. What did I not like about that? Also part of the image, not the clarity. And let's talk about it for a second. What type of reticle is in there? Not a huge fan myself. This one, EBR9. So it was just too busy for me. The reticle, the tree on it, very busy. Uh, also, as far as the illumination, you had a donut around the the red dot that was illuminated. And it was also illuminated and, and the donut was probably three times as thick as the red dot. I don't know, it just seemed like for precision shooting, it covered up the target. And I know, hey, some stuff you just gotta deal with, but was the magnification better? Yes, it's eight times instead of six. So I was able to reach out there and hit the headshot at 350 more consistently with this HD than I was with the PST. The PST, I was able to hit the man size, or actually, I guess it was maybe a, maybe it was a half man size silhouette at 350 or whatnot. Uh, pretty consistently, but, uh, and that was basically just standing, lean, lean, uh, weapon over a fence. It wasn't. All right, let's see. Wait, about 350? 350. Right. I'm going for the headshot one. Hit. So one more, I got two more rounds. Yeah. Like uh, laying down the prone or anything like that. So in the prone, I guess either one of them would be probably easier. Somebody out there is like, oh, I can shoot my aim point red dot, no magnifier out and hit a headshot at a thousand. You're lying. You know what? For us regular people, we know the truth. You're lying. Yeah, get back to playing the video games. All right. But we're talking about real life stuff here for regular guys, like regular guy responders. Uh, back to this. So... As far as covering up the target, I did not like that, but it made zero in this at 100, which I was doing today, way easier. I was able to see the uh, the fine two, two, three uh, bullet holes in the paper target that I was zeroing with. This one, when I was zeroing it, I had to zero several shots and shoot, and then I had to lay this rifle down and pick this one up to look through the optic and have it cranked all the way in to see the holes. The six times was not quite good enough. Maybe it was just the angle I was at or whatnot, but definitely able to see better with the HD. Now, is it worth the over $2,000 price tag? I don't know. That's what you gotta figure out. Uh, what else do I like about it? This one, you can make finer adjustments on. Remember I told you 0.2 MRAD? This one, 0.1 MRAD for clicks of adjustment. So you can fine tune it a little bit better, but hey, if, if you say you miss your shot because this one only adjusts 0.2 MRAD and this one adjusts 0.1, you know what, you're lying again. The uh, one extra MRAD there is not gonna be the difference in the, the make or break for you. I don't know, unless you're trying to shoot out to a thousand and hit the you know the headshot or something out there, maybe, maybe that will, but I would not be using the six times magnification for that. Uh, overall, it feels a little bit heavier to me. I don't know, maybe it's just because this rifle is so light over here on the other one, but you know, I can lay them both on the scale, but I'm not going to, I'm just giving you my initial thoughts on it. Other than that, I also said that I would tell you which one, if I could only have one forever, what would I take? The PST 
or the razor? <sighs> oh man, you're not gonna like this answer. It depends. What What is the job I'm gonna use it for? And some of you are like, I knew you weren't gonna tell me. No, 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 I am. For everyday use, like the zombie apocalypse in an urban area to where you're not shooting out past 200 or whatnot, sometimes close, sometimes out to 200 to hit the zombie headshot, you know what I mean? Then uh, I'm gonna have to say the PST all day. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, because it's cheaper. And hey, money is a factor. Uh, the image quality, I'm gonna say they're even on that one. The magnification, it's going to another other than the Holy Grail, the HD Razor is getting the magnification one. Uh, let's see what else we got. As far as reticle on which one I like to look through and more pleasing the eye and draws your eye in, uh, the winner goes to the PST. I mean, the reticle, just the simple crosshairs, and it has a little tree and, and hash marks under it, but the simple crosshairs are like a magnet for your eye that draw it right to the center where the crisp, this has got the crispest little red dot that I've ever seen. Uh, it was like a laser, just pinpointing like, choo, ready to zoom in and get something like the Death Star or whatever on Star Wars. I don't know, somebody on Star Wars would be like, oh no, that's not Star Wars, that's Star Trek. I don't know. Um, other than that, let's see, what else? I said the price, clarity was equal. Uh, the reticle is better in the PST, but still good in the HD. Uh, other than that, that's about it. So if I had to choose one, and it's for the you know zombie apocalypse in the urban or suburban area or whatnot, not not in Montana or something, just normal you know 200 in crisp shot shooting, PST. <laughs> I know, but for some of the uh, tactical games or uh, sawmill showdown, same thing that, that I mess around in, and you have to have the precision shooting uh, pretty far out and stuff like that. For, for precision shooting, definitely the HD. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it, and that's what I'm gonna use in an upcoming game is the, the HD. Uh, and that's why I also have a little bit longer barrel on this one, because it's better. They're both BA barrels. Uh, one is 14 and a half, and one is 18 and a half. Hey, it gives you that much tighter of a group. They're both sub MOA barrels, but you have a little bit longer range optic, a little bit longer range barrel. It's good for more precision and longer ranges. You have, as the kids say, the Ricky build or whatnot for the, you know, 200 nin headshot or whatnot, one to six times or whatnot. And you can hit a man size, you know, three, four, 500 yards uh, with this, then I'm choosing this all day. I hope that was helpful. I know there's gonna be some haters out there either way in the comments, but hey, you can say whether you agree or disagree. You know what? Hit the like, hit the subscribe. That's a regular guy's opinion.